Okay, this is the University of Texas Diabetic Wound Classification System for Diabetic Foot Ulcers. It's a bit more involved and more difficult to remember uh, than the Wagner Classification System, but it's a lot more detailed in what it describes. Um, so this one you need to know because it's more field specific. Now, it begins with zero again, unfortunately, but that makes sense because uh, zero here is not technically an ulcer. It's pre or post ulcerative, so it's completely epithelialized. It's not through the superficial layers of skin. A one is then deep to the skin, so a superficial ulcer. If you go one layer deeper, you get to what? Muscle, so the ulcer penetrates to a tendon or a capsule. And then another layer deeper, the ulcer involves the bone or the joint, okay? So this one, again, is based on anatomic layers. But then you have the addition of A, B, C, and D. Now, A is no infection, no ischemia. So uh, most ulcers will be just an A. So you can just keep it simple. But you need to remember this pattern. Infection, ischemia, infection, and ischemia. Now, B is if the ulcer, in addition to whatever layer it's in, has an infection. So this is good to communicate to other providers you're talking to with this system that there's an infection present. B is the nerves or infection. Now, how do you remember that infection becomes before ischemia? Well, alphabetically, N comes before S, okay? So A is nothing, B is infection, C is ischemia. Now, D is both infection and ischemia. It's the worst case scenario, okay? So you classify these system with the University of Texas, you use 0 through 3 to describe the anatomic depth. You use A through D to describe if there's infection or ischemia or both or neither, okay? And it's as simple as that.